Hey there, how are you? I'm Allison Davis, and my question today is what are you filling the gas tank of your body up with? Is it good? I love the analogy of, you know, sometimes, and I'm not I'm not just talking about you, I'm talking about me too. <laughs> we treat our cars better than we treat our bodies. Like we put gas that's made for our car in our car so it runs right, but we don't do that to ourselves. So um, today I wanna talk about seven top immune boosting foods because that's what we need to be doing right now. We need to be boosting our immune system so we stay healthy. Um, so the first one is, and it's more of a category, is fruits and vegetables. Hey Denise, how are you? Um, and so particularly some certain ones, I'm just gonna go through them real fast. Orange, tomatoes, and spinach for vitamin C. Hi Janet. Uh, blueberries and apples, antioxidants. The onion family, hey Ruby. Um, garlic, leeks, that is a phytochemical that's going to be scavenging, scavenging free radicals and it's got antioxidants and it's anti-inflammatory and all of that kind of stuff and that's what a lot of this is. Coconut, the oil, the meat, the milk, um, fantastic food, rich in antioxidants and just a whole lot of things. Google, Google why is coconut good for you, coconut oil, any of that. Um, broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables. Okay, so cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Gosh, I love Brussels sprouts, don't, don't you? They know how to make them now. <laughs> but there's a chemical in them called sulforaphane, and it switches on the antioxidant genes and enzymes in specific immune cells, which combat those free radicals. So those are those unstable molecules that will damage cells. And part of that's just part of the normal a process, but because we don't treat our bodies very well, we get too many. You know, we don't want a lot of those. We don't want those outnumbering, you know, the good stuff. Okay, so that's that category, fruits and vegetables. Of course, just go, go hog wild on fruits and vegetables, you know, all over the place, but those were some specific ones that are really important. Number two is ginger tea real anti-inflammatory um, and you know inflammation is just the body's response to injury or um, you know whatever it's signaling the body to heal and so but again because we don't treat our bodies great we can have chronic inflammation and you know you hear that that's like the basis of all disease like if we have inflammation that's just not good hi Hallie um, okay so number three is um, to do with probiotics, so Greek yogurt, kefir, kefir, we call that kefir in Oklahoma, <laughs> um, kombucha, you know, any fermented foods, sauerkraut, kimchi, pickles, you know, you can make your own too and it's not hard at all. I have a great uh, cookbook called, um, new, oh my gosh, I just forgot what it was called. It's got the yellow cover. What is it? Okay, I'm gonna get back to you on that. If anybody knows, you can put it in. If you've ever talked to me, you know what it is. Um, number four is ginseng tea, really good for the respiratory system. Number five is wild salmon. Look for wild salmon. It's high in zinc. We want zinc. That's really high in zinc. It's always good if we can get these good things from the food that we eat versus supplementing. I mean, we need to supplement for sure, supplements, you know, but um, if we can be getting it from the food, that's like we're a step ahead. Okay, number six is extra virgin olive oil. Again, anti-inflammatory, boosts immunity, you know, just use that for everything. And the last one I have on here is green tea. Contains flavonoids, it's an antioxidant that boosts immunity. Again, it's anti-inflammatory. Um, so those are, you know, I was looking at all kinds of different documents and just kind of, you know, a lot were the same. There were some different ones, but those are the ones I kind of put together from various things. Of course, what we don't want to eat soda we don't want to eat processed food you know go around try to get the 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 meats and the vegetables and the fruits go around the outside of the grocery store right hi julie um we don't want to eat foods high in sugar that's just suppressing our immune system when we eat sugar i hate to say it but it is um, if you got to have it get that lilies or there was that other one hi brenton um i think it's was it Coconut Zero? Someone mentioned it and I ordered it and it's really good too. I'll have to look. 
um, refined carbohydrates, you know, like whole wheat bread turns into sugar in our body. So it's doing the same thing. Of course, alcohol, sorry, but it does suppress our immune system. Um, guys, if you want, I have a, a list here of my top supplements that I use to boost my immune system. If you want a copy of it, I'll send it to you. Just put a comment in the um, comments here that you want it. And it's just my basic list of what I, what I use and what, you know, try to use to stay healthy. So that is it. I am excited tonight. My daughter is coming home from Wales. Hi, Greg. Hi, Lisa. And I'm going to Oklahoma City here in just a little bit to pick her up at the airport. Um, she, uh, you know, they're now American citizens are able to come home, but um, they are stopping other flights from Britain Monday. And um, so, hi, Ann, how are you? Hi, Janet. Okay, Janet, I'll send it to you. Um, so anyway, it's, you know, and Ann, I believe, if I'm understanding it correctly, as of Monday, they are, um, when they do come in, they're gonna have to come through 13 certain airports and have possibly some kind of health screenings and possibly quarantine, I don't know. Um, but I'm just thankful that she's coming tonight. So hopefully we don't have to deal with that. And I'm sure she's perfectly healthy. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. And um, hi, Pat. I will talk to you later. Bye.